Okay, so today I'm going to show my startup process for processing a gang sheet or a inline order with my Prestige A3 Plus R and Size 11 from DTF Station. So I posted in a previous video about how to feed the film through your size mo onto the take up reel before you start. As I mentioned before, you're gonna need about 48 inches long of film. You can reuse this film, uh, but you need startup film to pull the current print out of the printer into the size mo. So you see here, I have my film, my new film here taped to the, I guess I call it the take up film, reusable take up film. I always place a piece of master tape on the edges and one in the middle so that when the shaker taps it, doesn't break apart. This is imperative that you do this because you can get your print all the way to here and here and the shaker could break it apart and it'll fall down into a mess up the whole process. So you wanna make sure that it's taped pretty secure. As you can see, I did a nozzle check. I'll always do a nozzle check at the beginning of my print and then I'm ready to go. So I have done all of this before I have even turned on the size. So the startup is turned on, but I do not set any of these settings until the print is about all the way to about right here, right before it's about to get powdered here. That's when I would start turning on my settings. So I'm going to start my print and when it reaches here, I'll come back. Okay, so my print is at the level where I want it to be for time for powdering. So at this point, I need to add new powder into my powder. So that's why I'm adding powder here. At this point, I would turn the powdering on. So I would put it in forward. And usually to start off, I put it in about one to start off. And if for some reason that's not enough, I'll turn it up. I don't turn the shaker on or the oven on yet because you want your print to be about here, right about here before you start to turn the oven on. Also, at this point, I would then turn the shaker on. So for the shaker, I usually put it, turn it on and then I put it about to start with, just to start. So this is the speed for one, how much powder comes out on speed one, and the shaker on about two. I usually up it to about three or four once the print gets to about right here past the tape line. Once the tape gets past the shaker, that's when I up it a little harder to ensure that the film doesn't break off from the tape. Okay, so now that my graphic or my game sheet is powdered and we're going to turn the powder down because that's a lot of powder. So we turn that down to one. Now that it's a powdered and shaped and it's about to go about right here to the Oven, this is when I turn the oven on. So, I'm here and I have the oven on. So, I set my oven to 130 based off of this is 130 in Celsius. I forgot what it converts over offhand to Fahrenheit. I think it's about 266 or something like that. Don't quote me on Fahrenheit. But it. this is based off of my powder's suggestion. On your powder, it has a suggestion of what temperature you should have it set at. What works for me is 
1.30. But today, I'm going to set it down to maybe about 1.25. So I hit set and lowered it down to 1.25. And that's the temperature that it's set at. This is now the temperature that it currently is. It's gonna raise up to 125, and now it's good to go. So, it raises pretty quickly, so you don't have to worry about this necessarily being too close, because obviously the printer prints at a certain speed, so it's speeding at a certain speed. So, yeah. It's gonna probably be 125 before that even hits the oven. And then, of course, you know, it'll go to the, through the oven. I haven't timed how fast, based off of this, how fast this prints, how fast the film feeds through the oven. I want to say it's probably about mm, three minutes that it takes to get from here to here. Um, but don't quote me on that. So once it feeds out the oven, of course, you know, it rolls into the take-up wheel here. And that's how I start my Seismo to inline with my Prestige A3 Plus R.